Everything we've done's gone wrong Let's break it down and try again Live your life and love your friends And give yourself a chance to win Break down all the walls you see And build them in a way that's free We will, we will, we will, we will, we will We're far away from anything I want to be or want to see This broken sense of freedom speech The one that hates, the one that sees Let's change the way we fill our days Replace them with some brighter ways We'll take the things we've learned to love And build from there to get past here We will, we will, we will, we will, we will Change the things in life you hate And leave the things you love the same Everything in life can be Everything you want to see Time is ticking, clocks are turning Nothing stays the same for long Everything in life must be The way you think you want to be One day we will die and see That everything in life's a treat You'll see, you'll see, you'll see You'll see, you'll see You'll see, you'll see You'll see, you'll see Everything we've done's gone wrong Let's break it down and try again Live your life and love your friends And give yourself a chance to win Break down all the walls you see and build them in a way that's free We will, we will, we will, we will, we will We will, we will, we will, we will Rebuild, we will Follow our hearts 
I'm free, I let the street lights beam like fireflies that dance across my windshield and call down the rain. I'd hang my head away outside and open up my mouth so wide to chase the day that rose your toes and fears up from the grave.
Good evening and welcome to my virtual birthday party. I'm hoping that the live streaming is working smoothly for you at home. Giving it a moment because sometimes there's a delay. But I think we're going to be live in just a moment. Thank you and welcome. Here we are. Fantastic. So, oops, okay. So I am Cheryl Kagan, very proud to be the Senator for Gaithersburg and Rockville. And we have an extraordinary evening planned for tonight. When I asked my colleague and friend, Senator Mary Washington for permission to uh, copy her idea of having an online birthday party and she said yes. The only possible idea that I could have was a concert. I'm in my 18th year of presenting a concert series of folk and great music. Performers from around the country and sometimes from other countries who bring their joy, their passion, their inspiration to right here to Rockville. And so I asked a bunch of my friends whether they might record one song for me. And I was so delighted by the number of songs that I got. In this time of the pandemic, I'm so grateful to you for taking the time to join us. And for those of you who were able to donate, any amount that's right for you in your budget is gratefully received. CherylKagan.org is where you would go, but stay for the music. In addition to the music, some of my most cherished political friends and colleagues also shared their greetings. So we're gonna be here for a while. So open up your favorite beverage, obviously. I will be drinking a tab. Uh, open up your beverage and uh, get comfortable and prepare to enjoy the music. So here we go. We start off with one of our tremendous US senators, Chris Van Hollen, followed by fabulous music. Here we go. Hi, Cheryl. It's wonderful to join you, even virtually, uh, to wish you a very happy birthday. And I must say, even in the middle of a global pandemic, uh, you find a creative way to bring people together, uh, friends and music. And I want to thank you uh, for all your service uh, to Montgomery County and the state of Maryland over many, many years. You have a great ability to bring people together in coalitions. I don't know if you hear it, but you have a woodpecker wishing you a happy birthday as well. But you have an ability to bring people together to get important things done. I just want to mention a few. One is your work to improve the emergency 911 system. Uh, and more recently, all your efforts uh, to improve our election system, including making sure we had prepaid postage mail-in ballots, which is obviously an urgent need uh, at this moment. But most of all, I just want to thank you for your friendship, and I look forward to uh, continuing to work together on so many things. So happy birthday from me and our friendly neighborhood, Woodpecker. Take care. Hi, this is Joe Jenks, and I'm here to say a few words about my dear friend, Senator Cheryl Kagan. First off, Cheryl, happy birthday. I'm so sorry we can't all be together to give you a big hug and wish you well, but I'm glad that we can have this celebration instead. And what I mostly want to say about Senator Kagan, uh, not only has she been a dear friend to me for nearly two decades, but the same thing that makes her an extraordinary friend also makes her an exceptional public servant. And I use those words very specifically because we live in an era when many people utter the phrase public servant as an epithet. And Cheryl Kagan, Senator Kagan, picks up that mantle, that title of public servant, and wears it as a badge of honor. She has spent a lifetime reaching across the aisle, helping to build consensus, stalwartly defending the things that she believes in, but working hard to help people see their commonality, their common purpose, and the value in collaborating and cooperating on common solutions to big problems. And I'm just so proud and so delighted to call her a friend, and I know that you are as well. Happy birthday, Cheryl. 
Here's a song that um, is a little bit of the history of our friendship, but also um, it tells a story about the dangers of thinking that we can accomplish everything alone. I had a, a bit of a swimming incident a number of years ago. I nearly drowned while swimming in a river out in California. And much to my gratitude, a woman who was a very gifted swimmer and a Red Cross certified lifeguard jumped in the water with me. And uh, she didn't just stand on the sidelines. She got involved with the struggle that I was in. She helped me connect to my breath and separate myself from my panic. And then we kept swimming across that river together. That's the kind of person that Cheryl Kagan is. She too gets in the struggle with people. She too does not stand on the sidelines and offer suggestions. She rolls up her sleeves and gets things done, working in cooperation with other people helping so many of us to reconnect to our sense of purpose, to our breath, and to our commitment to moving forward together. I feel the current raging around me, trying to summon up my strength I am weary on this journey Afraid I will not reach that distant shore I cry for help, feel like I'm sinking There is no one near me I can see But there you are in the water Every breath we take, keep reaching for the dawn. I know alone that I will falter. With a good friend near me, I will carry on. There is a kindness in your smile and a No safety is at last within my reach Will you come with me? Will you come with me On this journey With every breath we take Keep reaching for the dawn I know alone That I will falter With a good friend near me I will carry on It's an illusion we carry with us As we wade on through the waters of our lives We must be strong and hold our own here But a helping hand will save us by and by Will you come with me? Will you come with me on this journey? Every breath we take, keep reaching for the dawn. I know alone that I will falter. With a good friend near me, I will carry on. I know alone that I will falter. With a good friend near me, I will carry on. Happy birthday, Cheryl. Let me tell you something about Senator Cheryl Kagan you may not know. You know she is a great senator who fights for your rights on all fronts and has been doing so for years. 
And you can find out about all the wonderful things she's done on her website. But here's something you may not know. Senator Kagan also fights for the rights of folk musicians, of which I am one. She has a concert series called Folk and Great Music and brings in folk artists from around the country. I am President Emeritus of Local 1000, which is the North American Traveling Musicians Union. And Cheryl was the first concert series to sign a collective bargaining agreement with our local in order to make sure that folk musicians got a fair wage and not just that but a pension contribution not just union musicians but all musicians this is the kind of person that senator cheryl kagan is Minding my own business Chasing demons in my head While the devil was afoot Feeding off the dead Stripping off the tasty bits Devouring the best Just a few things I need to get off my chest Cause mindlessly we turn away the heart is stopped, the skin is cold As we watch this tragedy unfold And endlessly we turn our backs As the screams get louder, the blood turns black the darkness that we knew was foretold But we can change it We can turn it into gold Stop the hatred from sickening our souls We have the means Because love is on our side Always, forever, and now all given permission for the bullies to misbehave supporting them with silence reticence and shame it's time to raise our swords time to show our might to throw back the curtains and let in the light as mindlessly we turn away Hard to stop, the skin is cold as we watch this tragedy unfold. And endlessly we turn our backs as the screams get louder, the blood turns black. The darkness that we knew was foretold. But we can change it, we can turn it into gold. Stop the hatred from sickening our souls We have the means Because love is on our side Always, forever, and now Thank you so much. I hope you will always continue to support Senator Cheryl Kagan. Hi there. My name is John Smith, and I'm from Trempolo, Wisconsin here, and I just wanted to wish Cheryl a fantastic, wonderful, fun birthday today, and just be part of the great festivities, and also wish you all the best with your uh, election this fall, Cheryl, and personally, just want to thank you for all the great work you've done for folk music uh, for many, many, many years in concerts in your house, and including myself and your support of my music. So anyway, thanks. And uh, so the song I'm going to share with you today 
It is a song that I hope fits with these wild, uncertain times that we've been living through this year. <clears throat> it's called A Work in Progress. Ought to see my refrigerator. It's got a collage on. It's covered up with cards and photographs from top to bottom. Wedding days and funerals, vacations on the beach. Stuff goes up and stuff goes down. It's different. Every week because it's a work in progress Changes all the time Part of the design A work in progress It's just what it is Nothing more, nothing less Just a work in progress I wish I had a periscope so you could see into this heart of mine You would see that it's been overhauled Once or twice Now the edges aren't so sharp A little softer to the touch Yeah, I've been trying not Myself so serious Cause it's a work in progress Changes all the time Part of the design A work in progress It's just what it is Nothing more, nothing less Just a work in progress Oh, stroke by stroke We paint these lives shades of gray each morning comes a painter's work is never done mm. I took a walk through the world today just to see what I could see a crazy driver nearly ran me down but then an old man, he smiled at me I stopped for coffee in the daily news Just to see what was going on and In spite of all the bad news This old planet spins along Because it's a work in progress Changes all the time Part of the design Work in progress It's just what it is Nothing more, nothing less Just a work in progress Changes all the time Part of the design Work in progress Oh yeah We're all just a work in progress progress for us all. Anyway, hope you like that. Uh, Cheryl, happy birthday once again, and thanks and for all the great support of music and community work um, that you've done, and all the best with your election this fall. And uh, anyway, love you. Bye now. What a world. The question is, do you dig in and work for change, or do you run away and disappear? And that was the crossroads that inspired this song, which I finished this morning. If it is in fact finished. It's called Invisibility. I have a few questions about invisibility before I commit to my wish number three. 
first? Does it include, by virtue of contact, the hat on my head, and the clothes on my back, and the things I carry, umbrella or coffee cup? Are they invisible too? And about my pup? Does invisibility convey from my hand on the leash if, for instance, I wanted to visit the beach where dogs are not allowed? Another question. Does invisibility apply only to the observer's eye and not say to the ear so a stranger might hear should I burst into song? Oh dear. Would they feel the air stir if I swatted a fly? And regarding the nose of the beholder, might it detect my scent as I pass by? And would someone feel a touch on their shoulder if we should by chance brush shoulders? It's terribly hard to be terribly shy and terribly tall. I'd love to step out without hearing How's the weather up there? Being asked if I play basketball. It's not that I wish to evade or to sneak, but how sweet to be unseen rather than seen as a freak. And what about eating? If it's not too graphic, can you tell me when does the food I eat vanish? Is it when it leaves the plate, or not till it becomes a part of me? Which begs the question: When does it become a part of me? Eating is, after all, a sort of magic trick. Anybody can make a mountain of food disappear. Now you see it, now you don't. But if one could see in through my invisible self to the food within, it would, I'm afraid, be a problem. How I long to go dancing! I'm awkward and odd, but oh, how I love to dance! All elbows and knees and two left feet. I never fit in. I can't take the chance. I'd be thinking about what would everyone think. So I dress in black and I hide in the back with a drink. So would I be injured if, say, by bad luck, I was invisible and run down by a truck? And if I spilled blood, would the blood be invisible too? What if I lay bleeding and nobody knew? I think perhaps it's becoming clear: invisibility is not all it appears. So about my third wish. If it's not too much trouble, I have a few questions, please. About world peace. Thank you again to all of you. I'm Cheryl Kagan, and today's my birthday, and I can't imagine a more fun way of celebrating than being lifted up by music. And being surrounded by friends and colleagues, I'm so grateful to all of you for taking the time. Those of you who are able to donate, I so appreciate you. And those of you who are advocates and allies in so much of the work that I do in Rockville and Gaithersburg and in Annapolis and statewide, I uh, I am a very lucky person. Uh, what I've been saying to people all week is because we have one song each by all of these different performers. Not every one of them might be your taste, but if you stick around for four minutes or something, the next person's going to blow your mind. And so, with that, we'll kick off the next segment. And my friend and campaign chair, Michael Frazier,、uh, who's a constituent and a friend since 1980, is going to greet us, and then we'll have several more songs. Enjoy. <music> This is Michael Frazier, and I'm here to wish my good friend of 40 years, Cheryl Kagan, a very happy birthday. I'm Cheryl's campaign committee chairman, but more importantly, Cheryl's my state senator. Cheryl, I hope you have a fabulous birthday celebration and a great Fourth of July. 
What's going on? Kevin So here. Thanks so much, Cheryl, for inviting me to do this. And I'm going to give it my best shot. Here's Stronger Side by Side. Just because my hair is a little longer Just because my skin is a little darker Just because my eyes are a little smaller Who are you to judge me? And just because my clothes are a little ragged It just because my shoes are old and dirty Just because I live in this part of the city Who are you to judge me? Just because your father is a chauvinist Just because your mother may be prejudiced And just because your best friend is an atheist Who am I to judge you? I see a white man in the middle Black man left and a yellow man right Though they are three strong individuals They stand stronger side by side They stand stronger side by side they stand stronger side by side Just because I eat red meat and drink whiskey Just because I smoke my dope and nicotine Just because I watch hardcore pornography Who are you to judge me? Just because I'm only in my twenty, 40s Just because I wasn't around in the 60s Just because I had my fun in the 90s na 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 Just because you drive a red Ferrari Just because you hate to ride the subway Just because on weekends you fly to Chile Who am I to judge you? I see a white man in the middle Black man left and a yellow man right Though they are three strong individuals They stand stronger side by side Help us out now I see a white man in the middle Black man left and a yellow man right Though they are three strong individuals They stand stronger side by side 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 Even if you come from a foreign country Even if you're raised by a royal family Even if your grandma does your laundry Even if you earn a six-figure salary Even if you manage the late-night Denny's Or even if you want one of their security Even if you end the gang of twenty Even if you witness to some bigotry Even if you're facing the grand jury Even if you gave that testimony even if you slept with Monica Lewinsky Even if you cheated on Chelsea and Hillary Even if you're serving the last year of your presidency Even if you're still trying to establish democracy Even if you worship every Hollywood celebrity Even if you can't stop watching TV reality Even if you're mm, having short-term memory Who am I to judge you? Who are you to judge me? I don't have to like you and you don't have to like me I can just ignore you You can just ignore me Or I can put my arms around you 
Put your arms around me I see a white man in the middle Black man left and a yellow man right Though they are three strong individuals They stand stronger side by side I see a white man in the middle Black man left and a yellow man right Though they are three strong individuals They stand stronger side by side They stand stronger side by side They stand stronger side by side You know they stand stronger side by side Hi Cheryl. So this is a song that I sing for all of the women who have been brave and bold enough to speak their truth, even into a society that might not want to hear it. And you, Cheryl Kagan, are one of the most courageous and bold women that I know. And you have raised your voice to, to make change, to make positive change and make a difference for as long as I've known you. So I truly do celebrate the day that you were born into my lifetime. And I hope wherever you are listening to this, that you are singing along because you are the epitome of a river rock. Happy birthday. I am no one's baby. I am not a girl. I have spent some decades rattling round this world. I am not the next new thing, no, I've been here too long. I have spent my life turning stories into song. I am not silver, I am not gold. No precious metal for you to hold.
it's a mighty long way Ooh, from over yonder. Ooh, it's a mighty long way Ooh, from there to here. We're gonna take it, oh yes, one step at a time, so that we can make that walk from there to here. Oh, it's a mighty long way. It's a mighty long way from over yonder. From over, over yonder. yonder. It's a mighty long way. It's a mighty long way. From there to here, there to here. we're gonna take it, oh, oh yes, one step at a time, so that we can make that walk from there to here. Every child born is a revolution, is a revolution, with a song inside. Some won't hear it, oh, some hear nothing else. You'll sing night and day just to keep that song alive. Oh, it's a mighty long way, it's a mighty long way from over yonder, from over yonder. It's a mighty long way, it's a mighty long way from there to here, there to here. We're gonna take it, oh, yes, one step at a time. So that we can make that walk from there to here one more time. It's a mighty long way. It's a mighty long way from over yonder. From over yonder. It's a mighty long way. It's a mighty long way from there to here. There to here. We're gonna take it. Oh, yes, one step at a time. So that we can make that walk from there to here. Now when you've got a dream, you got to stand up, stand up and shout it, shout it loud and clear, what's that I'm hearing, it's the voice of the people singing that. We will make that walk from there to here, everybody. Oh, it's a mighty long way, it's a mighty long way from over yonder, from over yonder. It's a mighty long way, it's a mighty long way from there to here. We're gonna take it, oh yes, one step at a time. So that we can make that walk from there to here one last time. It's a mighty long way. It's a mighty long way from over yonder. From over yonder. It's a mighty long way. It's a mighty long way from there to here. There to here. We're gonna take it. Oh, yes, one step at a time. So that we can make that walk from there to here. So that we can make that walk from there to here. So that we can make that walk from there to here. Zoe Mulford, I'm here to wish Cheryl Kagan a happy birthday. I wish that I could be there in person. It's a weird, weird old time. And it's a rough time. It's a rough time for everybody, and it's a rough time for democracy in America. So thank you to you who are watching this concert and who are engaged on the local level because we need people like Cheryl in office we need people who care deeply about the people they represent and hold themselves accountable and who imagine a better world than the one we have and do the work to get us there it is five years it's five years since the racist attack on the Mother Emanuel Church in Charleston, South Carolina. It is five years since a man walked into the Wednesday night prayer meeting and took the lives of Susie Jackson and Ethel Lance, of Taiwanza Sanders, of DePayne Middleton, Sharonda Coleman Singleton, 
Daniel Simmons, Myra Thompson, Cynthia Graham Hurd, and the Reverend Clementa Pinckney. In those five years, a lot of things have changed. Some things have not changed at all. And some things need to change. came to a house of prayer they did not ask what brought him there he was not friend he was not kin but they opened the door and let him in and for an hour the stranger stayed he sat with them and he seemed to pray but then the young man drew a gun and killed nine people, old and young. In Charleston in the month of June, the mourners gathered in a row. The president came to speak some words, and the cameras rolled and the nation heard. But no words could say what must be said For all the living and the dead So on that day and in that place The President sang Amazing Grace The President sang Amazing Grace We argued where to lay the blame on one man's hate or our nation's shame Some sickness of the mind or soul And how the wounds might be made whole But no words could say what must be said For all the living and the dead So on that day and in that place the president sang Amazing Grace. My president sang Amazing Grace. Sing it with me. Hi, this is Avi Wisnia from Philadelphia, and I would like to wish you, Cheryl, a Yom Huledet Sameach, a very happy birthday. I am so grateful to call you a friend, and I'm so honored to know someone like you who's such a great leader in the community, someone who works every day to make the world a better place, and someone who is such an incredible supporter of musicians and the arts. So I'd like to dedicate a song of mine to you, a song about brighter days ahead and how music and singing will get us there. This 
This dark cloud will soon pass over This dark cloud will soon pass over This dark cloud will pass And there will be sun, sun, sun A storm's about to appear And not a thing will be dry But the skies, they always clear It's just a matter of time this dark cloud will soon pass over This dark cloud will soon pass over This dark cloud will pass And there will be sun, sun, sun We're stuck with nowhere to go It's quite a disheartening thing But instead of getting low Let's get together and sing Let's sing this dark cloud will soon pass over This dark cloud will soon pass over This dark cloud will pass And there will be sun, sun, sun feeling blue life's not how you want it to be but until the sun shines through you can sing along with me so this dark cloud will soon pass over this dark cloud will soon pass over this dark cloud will pass and there will be sun 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 this dark cloud will soon pass over This dark cloud will soon pass over This dark cloud will pass And there will be sun, sun, sun Said this dark cloud will soon pass over This dark cloud will soon pass over This dark cloud will pass And there will be sun, 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 sun Happy birthday, Cheryl. Mwah. That was amazing. Fabulous music by dear friends. Thank you to my friend Michael Frazier, my campaign chair, to Kevin So, Megan Carey, Greg Greenway, Reggie Harris, Zoe Mulford, and wrapping up with Avi Wisnia. So I hope at the end of each, I think at the beginning and the end of each of the performers' songs, we have their URL. I hope you'll check out uh, their work, their other songs on their websites, and consider hearing more of their music and supporting them whenever we go live again and actually can go enjoy concerts in person. I also want to encourage you to tweet about this to share it to your Facebook page, to snap a uh, picture and post it on Instagram. You can tag me in any or all of those. That would be great. Um, as, uh, as Tret Fury indicated, I host the very first house concert series in the nation to have a unionized um, agreement, a collective bargaining agreement with Local 1000 from the American Federation of Musicians, Local 1000. And I'm really proud of that. I think that we've got to be conscious of our hardworking men and women, especially in these tough times, as we need to figure out how to bring back jobs, how to support law, local businesses. With that, I want to lead into the next segment. And the person who is not very techy, um, and therefore the video is going to be a little hard to understand, but it's worth listening to because the words by my chairman, Paul Pinsky are so heartfelt and were so meaningful to me. Paul is a longtime legislator, super effective leader. I am his vice chair and I'm so proud of that. The Education, Health and Environmental Affairs Committee runs so well under his leadership. So let's kick off the next section introduced by my chairman, Senator Paul Pinsky, District 22 in Prince George's County. Enjoy. 
State Senator Paul Pinsky, and I chair the state's Environmental Health and Environmental Affairs Committee in Annapolis. We're living through disquieting times. Uh, we have the pandemic, which obviously is in the way of having a, a true fundraiser where we can all see each other. We see the um, battle against police brutality and the fight for social justice. And of course, we have the orange man in the White House, hopefully not for much longer. So it's been very disquieting times. But I must say, during these times and over this past year, uh, it's been very comforting to have as my vice chair, Cheryl Kagan, your senator. Uh, she's done a terrific job. It's great to have her next to me, uh, being able to control things and support me. Uh, this past session was a difficult one, both for the legislature, the state, and for me personally. She was able to come forward, take responsibility, and do a yeoman's work in terms of running the committee in my absence. Uh, she's a treasure. Um, she's not only the senator for Rockville and Gaithersburg, she's a senator for Montgomery County in the state, and I think we're all pleased to have her, and we want to make sure she returns to Annapolis and play a leading role. Thank you, and have a great evening. Hi, everybody. I'm singing this song for Cheryl Kagan because uh, Cheryl's a very cool person, and it's uh, great to know that somebody out there working on the public interest is actually as cool as Cheryl is and uh, I've spent a bit of time with her and we've talked uh, a bit about things going on in our country and areas of the world and I'm uh, in awe of her grasp of detail and uh, the issues and uh, have great respect for her uh, service to the public so I hope you'll support her and uh, keep this good thing going. Here's a little song. Well, there's a man six feet away. He's laughing and pointing at me. He says I've fallen for a hoax, a conspiracy. To wear a mask, he says, infringes on his rights. It's all about freedom, he says to me there in the checkout line. You may be right, I say, I don't have all the answers And if you are, I'll look foolish and have wasted my time But if you're wrong, a lot of people might die tomorrow Freedom goes both ways, my friend, and I'm exercising mine There's a whole political party that says there's no global warming they have their own TV network to tell them it's all a joke. And the guy calls me a tree hugger for the electric car I'm driving. He climbs down from his monster truck in a big blue cloud of smoke. You may be right, I say, I don't know the future. And if you are, I'll miss my chance to hear that engine whine. But if you're wrong, a lot of people will lose their homes and families. Freedom goes both ways, my friend, and I'm exercising mine. Now Jesse James rode the trails across the wide misery. He only put a mask on to go into a bank. Took it off when someone took him in and fed him dinner. And he never put it on again till somebody said thanks. Bubba Beer got on the corner with his AK-47 Says taking my guns away won't ever save those kids in school It's my freedom to show up anywhere carrying anything I want to If you're not carrying nowadays, well, maybe you're a fool You may be right, I say, but I will still be working to walk the streets without you threatening me or my kind And if you're wrong, we could save a whole lot of kids from dying Freedom goes both ways, my friend, and I'm exercising mine Freedom goes both ways, my friend, and I'm exercising mine There you go Thanks a lot
You're like this left brain, right brain amalgam where, you know, you're doing these incredible legislative things for your constituency, and then you're hosting house concerts and giving your musician friends a, a forum. So everybody appreciates you. We all love you. And here's a, a brand new song for you. My name is Ronald Lesko. I'm director of Folk Music Notebook, a 24-7 internet channel devoted to folk music. And it was through folk music that I first got to meet and know Cheryl Kagan. She's an amazing person. Uh, her work with the Folk and Great concerts and the uninaugural concerts and helping to perpetuate contemporary folk music is just incredible. She's a tireless individual. And speaking of tireless, I, I live in New Jersey, but I'm thinking of moving to Maryland because I see all the incredible work she's doing there, uh, helping to ban styrofoam, election reform, uh, the upgrading of the 911 systems and so much more. She's a tireless individual, a very big heart and always caring about others. 
Um, I'm honored to call her a friend. And speaking of friends, this next individual that you're going to hear is also an old friend. He's been making music since the 1960s, performing on stages all around the globe. And uh, he's a great songwriter, and in the past few years, well, he's had a few reasons to write some topical songs. It's an honor to present James Lee Stanley. Hi, James Lee Stanley here for Cheryl Kagan and for America. I think that uh, what's happened in the last three years is genuinely frightening. And I think what we need to do is put the right people in the right place. And Cheryl Kagan is one of those people. I'm behind her 100%. And uh, here's a song inspired by the, the last three years of governmental betrayal to our Constitution. This is a tune called Dark Road from my Without Susie CD. Heading down a dark there's no telling where we're going Something in those shadows Doesn't seem right to me Heading down the dark road Dividing lines, they're all I see One side or the other Lies between you and me Taking a look around Can't believe what I think I see Taking a look around Is this the best, the best that we can do? Heading down a dark road Need a spark to light the way No sense of direction Still we spend another day Heading down that dark road Seems we got a lot to lose Coming through a crossroad Which way will we choose? Taking a look around Can't believe what I think I see Taking a look around Is this the best, the best that we can be? Everybody knows we're bound to reap. We're bound to reap. We're bound to reap what we sow. Yeah, what we sow. Yeah, what we sow. Taking a look around. Can't believe what I think I see. Taking a look around Is this the best, the best that we can be? Taking a look around Can't believe what I think I see Taking a look around James Lee Stanley, coming out for Cheryl Kagan, coming out for America. Let's put the right people in the right place. 
Of course, my phone starts ringing right when I'm supposed to go live. Not so helpful. Hi, hope you're enjoying the music so far. I'm sure I don't need to introduce myself, but in case you came late, I'm Cheryl Kagan. Very proud to be the senator for Gaithersburg and Rockville and the birthday girl today. So, um, and it seems like uh, Muzi just woke up. Hello, honey, you get to be introduced. Everybody, this is my Corona kitty. This is Muzi, and I named him because uh, it's Zoom backwards, and don't we all just live on Zoom? And so one of my Scrabble friends suggested that. I want to thank my chairman, Paul Pinsky, for that last segment, and singer-songwriters Rod McDonald, Laura Zucker, DJ, fabulous DJ, Ron Alesco, who's helping keep the music alive, and James Lee Stanley. So I have to put Muzi down. Um, so I want to point out that we have such a wonderful mix of topical new songs that reflect some of our challenges, everything from Black Lives Matter um, to this White House and its policies to the reality of climate change and so many more. And some of them are just fun and, uh, and uplifting. You'll hear one of those that's, uh, that was one that I requested. I wanna take a moment and thank my legislative and political staff and volunteers, Ryan Kirby, my chief of staff, uh, Abby uh, Snyder, who's doing amazing work with constituent outreach and legislative stuff, uh, Lydia McPherson, my interns, uh, people who've worked for me over years past and just have helped us get great uh, accomplishments through the General Assembly. Um, there are a number of elected officials that have joined us so far this evening. I'll recognize them in a little while. Um, I want to remind you that you can go to CherylKagan.org if you'd like to make a contribution of any amount. I'd be grateful, but I understand that at the time of the pandemic, I'm not going to get enormous checks from everybody, so that's okay. You can use a credit card through PayPal or use your PayPal account, or there's information on mailing a check because this is a fundraiser, but it's also an evening of uplifting music. With that, I want to pitch to the next section, and we are kicked off by my Congressman, Jamie Raskin. He and I got to serve together in the state Senate. And then I was really excited to be assigned to sit in his chair where I hoped that some of his brilliance might seep in from the cushion uh, into me. He's brilliant, he's effective, he's thoughtful, he's fun, he's funny, and he's a friend. So enjoy a kickoff from Jamie Raskin with amazing music to follow. See you back in a few minutes. It's my friend Cheryl Kagan's birthday. Happy B Day, Cheryl. And everybody knows that you're a woman of great passion and great hobbies and avocations. And one of them is Scrabble. And I know I never got to play with you because I'm not good enough and you only play with the very best Scrabble players in the world. But I thought I would do as a little experiment is just pour out the Scrabble tiles on the board and turn them over and see if we can make some words about Cheryl Kagan. What do you think, guys? So with the help of my son, Tommy, I'm gonna to give it a try right now. I'm gonna dump out all of the tiles, all right? And we're gonna see if we can have any words that are fairly descriptive of Cheryl Kagan. There is, hmm, Rock King. There we go, Rock. Ville, check that out. Not bad, the Rockin' Rockville, par, parting, part, parte, parte, because everybody knows that Cheryl's a party girl. Z-A-N-Y, zany. Would anybody use that word to describe Cheryl Kagan? I don't know. Extro, vert, how are we doing on our time? Cheryl's very big on getting the bingo words, the ones that use all her letters. This one did wipe out my last panel of letters, and it says, real friend. So anyway, Cheryl, there you go. Uh, we got a random 12 word description of uh, our favorite state senator from 
uh, Rockville in Gaithersburg. Happy B-Day, and you are all those things to me and more. All best to you. Hi, my name is Betty Sue, and I'm a singer-songwriter in Austin, Texas. I've known Cheryl Kagan for many years because she has been such an active participant, host, and volunteer for the folk music community across the country. It's been really great over the years to see her work as a state senator in Maryland, from her environmental advocacy to her work on telehealth and uh, fertility parity, um, emergency response services. There are so many inspiring things that she's been active in improving in her own community. And it reminds me um, from far away in Texas that there are ways that we can improve our community um, because somebody else is doing it somewhere. And um, maybe we could take some inspiration and improve things where we live as well. So happy birthday, Cheryl. I hope it's a great one. day fades to night Noon passes to evening light and Rivers give their yield to the sea Winter sends birds in flight Their silhouettes filling up the sky As far as naked eye can see Out of sight, but just call my name and I'll come running. I'll come running. Don't think cause you can't see me. I am ever beyond your reach. I'll come running if ever you need. Such thing as a wasted tear No hearts don't think that clear It's not a fool's errand to mourn love Maybe you've had a hard, hard year Maybe you feel like nobody hears The dreams you now feel unworthy might be beyond the frame out of sight but just call my name and I'll come running I'll come running don't think cause you can't see me I am ever beyond your reach I'll come running if ever you It's easy when times get hard To lose hope and be on your guard but You will always have someone on your side In me well, I might be beyond the frame Out of sight but just call my name And I'll come running I'll come running Think cause you can't see me I am ever beyond your reach I'll come running If ever you need My name is Eric Schwartz. I am here in support of the re-election campaign for State Senator Cheryl Kagan. And she's going to win that re-election, but only with your support. So get out and vote. What more can you say about State Senator Cheryl Kagan? She's passionate. She's driven. She's smart. She's on the right side of things. She's effective. What more could you want from a state senator? 
Except maybe like if she had a Lamborghini and she drove everybody around, that'd be cool. But maybe that'll be for next time. Here's a song by uh, Tom Brasado Rao and me and the Fox 15 crew. And uh, get out and vote. And if I go away and spend the day in solitude And you're thinking you're to blame for my quiet mood I promise you there's nothing that you have to do It's just my way of learning you And if I hold you to the fire for something you have said and I want to talk it out before we go to bed if I question why it is you do the things you do it's just my way of learning you I've made my mistakes you've made yours too I'll never make is losing you and if we should survive for a hundred years on this roller coaster ride filled with joy and tears the only thing I'll ever find to see me through being here and learning you is being here and learning you Hi, this is Wanda Fisher, and I'm coming to you from Albany, New York, wishing Cheryl Kagan a most happy birthday. I've known Cheryl for a long time, and she deserves a great birthday during these challenging days. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Susie Vinnick, who's one of the most amazing guitar players in the entire North American continent. She's going to play for you the Oreo Cookie Blues. I love Oreos just as much as I love Susie. Here she goes. Hi there, my name is Susie Vinnick, and I am a musician from Canada. Senator Cheryl Kagan and I have known each other for many, many years through music, and uh, she's, she's hosted concerts for me and a lot of other musicians, and she's a big promoter of the arts, so I'm really grateful to, to know her. And uh, um, she's also a great Scrabble player. <laughs> We've played a few games together, and she's coached me a little bit, so I'm grateful for that, too. Uh, I receive her newsletters and see all of the hard work that she and her team are doing for folks in Maryland, and uh, I think you guys are really lucky to have her working for you. So I'm going to sing a song uh, in honor of her birthday, and for all you out there listening, it's called The Oreo Cookie Blues. It was written by Lonnie Mack and his pal Mike Wilkerson. Uh, Lonnie Mack was a great blues guitar player and wonderful vocalist and apparently also a diabetic. So he wrote this song um, talking about Oreo cookies and uh, I guess they were his go-to sugar fix. And and uh, so anyway, we'll send it out to, to Senator Cheryl. Wish you a happy, happy birthday, Senator Cheryl. And I uh, hope you have a great day and year and I will see you on the Scrabble board. I got some chocolate on my fingers Icing on my lips Sugar diabetes, I got way too much Blubber on my hips I, I keep the nightlight burning in the kitchen, baby So I can go downstairs and cruise Got them Oreo cream sandwich, chocolate covered cream filled cookie blues. Mm -hmm. Hide them in the cabinet, I keep them in a jar. 
for emergencies I keep them in the glove compartment of my car You know I can't live without them They get me high then I'll get on Blues Got them Oreo cream sandwich Chocolate covered cream fill cookie blue You be pushing up a whole bunch of daisies, girl, and quite frankly, I kind of think you're sick. But I can't live without them, no. Covered cream filled cookie in there. The bell by the biscuit when you know they ain't no rookie. I got the next best thing to Nookie. Blues. Oh, 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 oh. And Mr. Christie, just don't compare. <laughs> Happy birthday, Cheryl. <laughs> And thank you, Jamie Raskin, for being an extraordinary congressman for us. And thank you, Muzi, for eating my earrings. Yes, okay, yes, love. Okay, that was Betty Sue, Eric Schwartz, Wanda Adams Fisher, the DJ, and Susie Binnick from Canada. Uh, next up, the next panel, uh, before we do that, I just wanna remind you to consider sharing this on social media and let your friends know that you're hearing some extraordinarily talented folks. Please check out the performers' websites and learn more about them, their music, sign up for their tour schedules, and uh, Mercy, we're gonna wait. And, uh, uh, and support artists who are really hard hit by the pandemic, as we all have been. But musicians can no longer tour, they can no longer travel, and that's how they earn their living. So please tweet at Cheryl Kagan, post on Instagram at Cheryl C. Kagan and, uh, and share this concert link. So um, after 33 years as president of the Senate, as the longest serving Senate president, not just in Maryland's history, not just in the nation's, uh, not just in the nation, but in the nation's history, President Mike Miller decided to relinquish the president's seat and join us in the body as a member of the Senate. And he's a historic figure. But in January, we started off with a new president, Bill Ferguson from Baltimore City. Young, smart, thoughtful, dynamic, collaborative, super effective. And I was so proud when he invited me to be part of his leadership team. In Annapolis, unlike in many state capitals, there are only four committees, four standing committees. So it's four chairs and four vice chairs. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm very honored to work with Chairman Paul Pinsky as the Vice Chair of Education, Health, and Environmental Affairs. We have more bills than any other committee because in addition to those four key issues, we also have all election laws, we have alcohol bills, we have procurement, and much more. In any case, next up, kicking us off, is gonna be President Ferguson and some of his remarks. I also wanna mention that some of these songs I requested specifically, and there are some songs that are sort of my anthems, and you'll hear the first song in this segment is one of the songs that lifts me up, inspires, empowers me, and touches my heart every time. Hope you'll listen for Emma's Revolution and the rest of the performers coming up now. Enjoy. 
and loved ones of the one and only Senator Cheryl Kagan. Uh, my name is Bill Ferguson. I have the honor of both representing the 46th Legislative District here in Baltimore City uh, and also serve as the President of the Maryland Senate, an honor that uh, would not be possible but for the support of the uh, incredible Senator Kagan. Um, I am so bummed that I can't be with you all in person to just uh, send my accolades and thoughts about just how incredible of a legislator Cheryl Kagan is. Um, and, and not only that, yeah, she's a friend. She is somebody that is passionate about the issues, but also is just so human and caring and loving uh, and who pushes us all to be better on a daily basis. Um, you are incredibly, incredibly fortunate to be represented or friends with uh, such a true leader. Senator Kagan is, is leading the Maryland Senate when it comes to issues around elections. To uh, She is the champion for municipalities, uh, Rockville and Gaithersburg. Uh, you know, certainly I, I have a, a deep fondness in my heart uh, having grown up uh, in, in Rockville and Flower Valley. And uh, uh, Senator Kagan has just been such an incredible representative of uh, of the area, and you know, if you if you think about kind of the future issues that are coming down the pike, you know, Senator Kagan has been front and center uh, across the state of Maryland working on Next Gen 911. Um, this is something that a lot of folks don't really uh, understand the complexities and just how deep uh, this infrastructure goes uh, when we think about our emergency services. Um, and several years back, Senator Kagan took the bull by the horns and uh, said, you know what, we gotta jump on this. Uh, if we don't get in front of this, we are gonna fall way behind and our systems are just not up to date. And if you look at the progress that has been made by the, her collaborative efforts, it's truly remarkable. Um, and it is just a testament to her passion and caring about the people she represents uh, and the people of Maryland statewide. Um, so it is such an honor and privilege to be able to, to serve with her uh, and to, uh, to watch her leadership uh, and be a part of it uh, on a daily basis. So thank you for supporting such a true champion for the state of Maryland. Thank you for your belief in her. Uh, keep those dollars coming because uh, it's, it's those dollars that make it possible for, for the incredible people like Senator Kagan to be able to do this incredible work so that we can build a better future post, uh, post coronavirus that we all know is possible. So thank you, have a wonderful, wonderful evening tonight. Enjoy the incredible performances that she has, uh, she has set up and, and has for everyone. Uh, and just can't wait to see you all on the other side of this, uh, of this pandemic when we're gonna create a brand new world. Take care. Happy birthday, Cheryl. We know how much you love music and justice. So we're really glad to be here to help support your campaign and sing this song for you, which we know is one of your favorite of ours. We hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.
visions Create a common bond with our conscience as our weapon We are witness to the fall We are simple, we are brilliant We are wild and we are all in our goal Bound for freedom and I truth Take the lead, not the preacher, not the congress The song is called We Build for Everyone and is co-written with my friends Glenn Rothell and Karen Drucker. And I submitted this particular song. Many songs are coming out of this pandemic, this time of isolation, and the protesting that's going on in the streets. I'll get to those other songs, but for now, We Build for Everyone speaks for me to Senator Kagan's common sense approach to progressive leadership. And I hope that I have that kind of common sense too. I know she's doing a great job in her district. I've had the chance to walk around there with her and she really engages the community as well as embraces the folk community to which I belong. So happy celebration, Senator, and may we all rise together. Get some shade. And you clump it with some clay, add some fire. Then you let it bake away sometime later. If you've made the proper mix, you do some chopping. That's how you get bricks. You take these bricks and you stack them on the ground in certain patterns. Sometimes square and sometimes round Pile them higher They're gonna get real tall But no division This is not that kind of wall What we build, we build together What we build is sound and strong What we build, we build for everyone We build for Everyone A tiny part Of the greater whole And our intention Is a reflection of our soul Rise and shine Come on, lend a hand When we build together What we build is gonna stand What we build, we build together what we build is sound and strong What we build, we build for everyone We build for everyone And we're tearing down what doesn't work for all of us Building up what does What we build, we build together what we build is sound and strong What we build, we build for everyone We build for everyone We build for everyone We build for everyone We build for
happy birthday, Cheryl, from the Everly Set. Social distancing. We love you. We support you. And we hope it's not too early to say, Cheryl Kagan for president. Two, three. Hey! Cheryl, this is about take six. I've got a frog in my throat tonight, so I hope uh, that won't take away from the intent here. We thank you very much for running. Running for office is a hard thing to do these days. It takes courage, it takes commitment, all things that you have in abundance. And when you run for United States Senate, I'm in your campaign. Here's a song that I wrote some time ago that I think is pretty appropriate right now, maybe now more than ever. <clears throat> and if I don't choke up on you, here is Miracle. again when each new heart begins its beating with a mind that has everything to learn and what is learned depends upon the lessons that we teach when we take our turn its makings in our hands. The work begins when you call me brother. The work is done when I take your hand. We are not prisoners of our history. Another chance comes to us with another day To leave behind the wreckage and the misery To turn around, find another way We are not waiting for a miracle Take your hand And there is nothing In our nature That demands that we live apart From all the souls that Circle around us There is no difference Bye.
spite of everything the world has tried to teach us, we can learn to set each other free. We are stronger when we stand together. We are not blind if we only choose to see or just one more time. We have its makings in our hands. The work begins when you call me brother. The work is done when I take your hand. The work begins when you call me brother. The work is done. I take your hand. Best of luck, Cheryl. On your side. Amazing. I am so lucky to call these performers my friends. Uh, that segment, first off, President Bill Ferguson doing an extraordinary job leading the Maryland State Senate, Emma's Revolution, David Roth, the Everly Set, which does a bunch of uh, the Everly Brothers music and is uh, timeless, still so fun, and closing out with Jerry Brzee. Um, I want to mention just a few things. This would not be possible without a lot of other folks. In addition to the performers, and the donors and sponsors and volunteers who make this happen. Uh, Mark Bernback uh, stepped in to pinch hit and produce this whole thing, made it look very snazzy and is making sure that everything runs smoothly this evening. So thank you, Mark, for your leadership, working for peace with Jenny Stepanek and working with me on this and for everything else you do. You're extraordinary, I'm grateful. I wanna thank Chris Schneider, Tom Persada Rao, and uh, Rob Hinkle, anyone who gave me advice and helped come up with the image of this. Um, donations of any size, just thought I'd mention that again. Uh, CherylKagan.org, you can use your credit card, you can use PayPal, or you can send a check, any amount, I will be grateful. But if it's not in your budget and you can't afford it, uh, just continue to enjoy the music, stick around, because it's really, we need this for our hearts, we need this uh, level of unity and this kind of inspiration that we get through music. With that, I want to kick it off to the next section. Uh, oh, and don't forget to tweet at Cheryl Kagan. Uh, share this concert, share the link on your personal Facebook page and Instagram, tag me and everything. Um, so this next segment is kicked off by my friend and Senate colleague, Senator Mary Washington. Mary is a fantastic Senator and I am so thrilled that she is now on my committee on the Education, Health and Environmental Affairs, where she brings such insight and passion and diligence to her work. And uh, she's a trusted confidant and a great friend. So uh, let's start with Mary and then go back to the music. Thanks again for watching. Good to have you all here. Hey, happy birthday, State Senator Cheryl Kagan. This is State Senator Mary Washington. I'm so pleased to be a part of the celebrations of my good friend, Cheryl Kagan. She represents Rockville, she represents Maryland, she represents so many people that want to do the right thing. And we've stood together on so many issues, whether it's the environment, whether it's education, whether it's voting rights, uh, whether it's making sure that 911 is working the way it needs to be to keep all of us safe. So Cheryl, all I can say Say is happy birthday to you. You're a good friend, a great colleague. I'm so pleased to call you a friend and have a fabulous, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day and eat lots of cake. Take care. Happy birthday. George Floyd went to the market for a soda and some smokes. Passed the clerk a questionable $20 note. That kind of thing at best is a misdemeanor crime. He might have gotten out on bail, done a little 
time He'd been working as a bouncer In a nightclub for some time Virus epidemic had made work harder to find He was getting around to calling A temping agency Maybe make a little cash For rental groceries I can't breathe I can't breathe Let me up, oh let me up Please mister, I can't breathe George Floyd, he was a regular At the market most days But Mr. Abu Mayale just happened to be away the teenage clerk called 911 just following protocol he just did not consider what would happen then at all the cops in Minneapolis train like warriors elite when they show up in force it's clear they know they own the street George Floyd was in his car when the police came around. They pulled him out at gunpoint and they threw him on the ground. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Let me up, oh, let me up. Please, mister, I can't breathe. Derek Chauvin had often done this kind of thing before. Black folks to him were soldiers in his twisted private war. And all the streets were battlegrounds for him to prove his worth. His little slice of turf that he turned to hell on earth. Eighteen times he'd run afoul of internal affairs. They always had concluded that his actions all were fair. The city fathers all expect the cops to keep up the heat. They'd slap his wrist and slap his back and put him on the beat. What had he done those 18 times remains a mystery. The files close, the papers shred, and there's no chance to see what these thugs with guns and badges are doing in our name. Another black man killed and gone, to them it's just a game. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Let me up, oh let me up. Please, mister, I can't breathe. Chauvin is the one who had his knee on George's neck. But don't let off the other three or treat them with respect. They stood around and laughed and clowned as Brother Floyd was killed. Maybe for the hatred, or maybe for the thrill. It's been this way for centuries and now it's gotta end. There's no way to excuse it, and there's no way to defend. From Trayvon to Brianna, MLK to Little Emmett Till. It's to keep you at the bottom and them up on the hill and none of this was ever about that twenty dollar bill no none of this was ever about that twenty dollar bill i can't breathe i can't breathe let me up oh let me up oh mama i can't breathe i can't breathe I can't breathe, let me up, oh, let me up. Oh, Jesus, I can't breathe. Let us up, oh, let us up. My people cannot breathe. Let us up, oh, let us up. My sisters and brothers cannot breathe. Let me up, oh, let me up. Oh, Mama, I can't to be here to help participate in this big celebration for Cheryl Kagan. 
Cheryl, I can't even remember the first time we met. I'm sure it must have been well over 25 years ago at some folky event or another around here in Maryland. And over the years, it's been such a comfort to know that we have such a tireless advocate in you in the State House and now in the State Senate in Maryland. And I'm proud that you are my State Senator. So, last time I saw you was in December and we had pizza and beer and we promised each other we'd do it again and I'm gonna hold you to that promise even though it's gonna take a little bit longer than we might have imagined at that time. So, what crazy times we live in, huh? Crazy, crazy times. Who could have ever predicted it? But the one thing that continues to survive is the friendships that we have forged and this community that we have built. And you are such a central part in this community that I can't thank you enough. Today is a good start to be able to show you how much we appreciate you and how much we love you. So I want to leave you with this song that I wrote a little over a month ago. And uh, it's called That's Who I'm Gonna Be. And it's about what happens when this is over. And when this is over, I look forward to a whole lot of inappropriate hugs. And one of mine is reserved for you. Bye for now. Here we go. You know that creepy guy at the party the one who makes you uncomfortable when he gives you a hug the one you can't give the slip to so easy like he's been shipwrecked for years and you're his long lost love that's who I'm gonna be when the great storm is over that's who I'm gonna be that resurrection more that's who I'm gonna be, Mama. Full disclosure, don't say I didn't tell you. Consider yourself warned. Anyone could see him coming. The guy that doesn't know his boundaries, leaning in for a kiss. He's just super excited to see you. Before you know it, girl, it's full on the lips. That's who I'm gonna be when the great storm is over. That's who I'm gonna be. That resurrection morn. That's who I'm gonna be, Mama. Full disclosure. Don't say I didn't tell you. Consider yourself warned. I'm not real good at playing the fool But there's no use in playing it cool Beware of canaries in coal mines The fear that keeps you running from the great unknown Is a second chance ever a straight line but one day it might just walk in and say, Honey, I'm home, that's who I'm gonna be When the great storm is over, that's who I'm gonna be On that resurrection morn, that's who I'm gonna be Mama, full disclosure, don't say I didn't tell you Consider yourself warned That's who I'm gonna be When the world's set free That's who I'm gonna be
Hello, I'm Lee Michael Dempsey, and for nearly 40 years I've had the pleasure of hosting folk and bluegrass radio shows over public radio here in the D.C. area. Over those years, knowing Cheryl Kagan has meant knowing someone who is totally dedicated to getting things done in the folk community, but more importantly in Maryland state government. Her leadership has moved many progressive programs forward, and we should be grateful for that. Today, many of her musical friends and supporters are coming together to celebrate Cheryl. Here's one of my longtime favorites, Cliff Eberhardt, who burst onto the New York singer-songwriter scene in the late 70s with his astute observations of the human condition. Hi there, I'm Cliff Eberhardt. There's a song of mine called The Lies That We Live With that I wrote for a, a play called The Heel that was, that was the production was at the Getty Museum or Getty Villa in Malibu last summer. And I wrote it for the play, but I was really writing it kind of as a wink to the politics in, in our country right now and all the lies that we have to live with. And I've known Cheryl Kagan for many years. I, I've, I met her through the music business, actually. But um, I know her to be incredibly capable and very smart. So vote for her. It's not a suggestion. story because you want someone to do something for you that you'd never do when you tell a story that you hope someone buys some call it a story some call it a lie the lies that we live with may come back around as whispers and rumors that spread through the town The lies that we live with that we tell to our friends Are retold with conviction when we see them again The lies that we live with are stating their case They appear to be tidy, but they're trashing the place The lies that we live with the gaslight is on Their truth is their truth But their truth is all wrong The lies that we live with Are going to bed They are tired and weary And so overfed The lies that we live with That we hide on the shelf We hope no one sees We all lie to Hey, it's Brad Yoder. I'm here to play a song for Cheryl's online birthday campaign, celebration, fundraiser, extravaganza. And this is a very Cheryl song that she suggested, so I'm honored to perform it. Thinking about all the good work she's done in the folk music community, and of course for her Maryland constituents as well. This song is called Excellent Trouble. Coalition of lovers 
Writers and skeptics Poets and vagabonds Beggars and mystics Excellent trouble Only the finest Will cover fluorescently Outside the lines So when dour faced they ask us why we can't stop smiling It's just cause it's all So unbearably beautiful Excellent trouble Hey you Have you been And boxes in storage unsure Where you left what you are made of Among letters and yearbooks And sweaters and such What if everything we have discarded Is just ballast we drop Out of gravity's sway, birds don't obey. Why hesitate when there's excellent trouble? Therefore, the making will burst a few bubbles, and therefore, the breaking a loose coalition. Outside the lines So when dour faced They ask us Why we can't Stop crying It's just cause It's all so Unspeakably Beautiful My only Wish Is to honor this Gift To practice my Part and the jaywalkers art So when dour faced they ask us Why we can't stop smiling It's just cause you're all So unbearably Ah, oh, Brad Yoder and his songs make me smile. Um, we started with Doug Broder and a very new song about George Floyd and that tragic, outrageous murder that has inspired and educated so many of us. There will be significant legislation in Annapolis and in state capitals around the country, hopefully in Congress even, but I don't know, maybe we need, uh, maybe we'll need some miracles for that. Uh, also in that section, uh, Tom Prasada Rao, much loved and so wonderful with a new song that he shared as well. DJ Lee Michael Dempsey, a voice that many people in the DC area have been listening to for decades. He introduced Cliff Eberhardt, such a wonderful longtime person and wrapping up with Pittsburgh's Brad Yoder. People ask a lot how I know these people because I am so lucky to call them my friends, to host them in my home at Folk and Great Music. There are national conferences and festivals that I attend each year, each year when it's not a pandemic, 
Uh, there's the Folk Alliance International, and then there are regional conferences. So NERFA is the Northeast Regional Folk Alliance. Those are two great sources. Then there's the Falcon Ridge Folk Festival each summer in the Berkshires. All of those are canceled. Someday, hopefully, someday soon, we'll be back at those three locations, at Wolf Trap, at the Birchmere, at Ram's Head, and so many other important venues in our region and around the country, because I know we have friends from around the country. But until then, this is kind of one of the best things we can do. My goal tonight, in addition to raising money um, and celebrating music, is to introduce many of you who are not as connected to my music community, the, the singer-songwriter world, or even if you are and you know some of these folks, but I suspect there are a couple that you've never heard of before, never seen, but there are many of you who are hearing all of these people for the first time. I do hope you'll check out their music and support them, support their work. Um, I want to just mention a couple more things. Um, I am very fortunate to get to work with smart, talented, passionate, and effective local, state, county, and federal elected officials. And joining us tonight, and I'm sure that I didn't see everybody who joined, but you've already seen Senator Mary Washington. Um, she gave an introduction, but she was with us tonight. Senator Brian Feldman, my friend and neighbor just to the district of the east of mine. Uh, Senator Katie Fry Hester, a talented freshman, from Howard County and Carroll County, who does a great job. And Delegate Brooke Lehrman, whom I've known since she was a kid. It was with Brooke that we passed the first ever styrofoam ban in the nation. And we are gonna have hashtag foam free MD. Even though the governor delayed the implementation by three more months after we gave an 18 month uh, grace period, it's unfortunate, it was supposed to go into effect statewide yesterday. Over half the state already is styrofoam free, but the rest of the state gets three more months. In any case, I saw council member Neil Harris from Gaithersburg. I saw that council member Ryan Spiegel, the current president, or just as of two days ago, uh, former president of the Maryland Municipal League. These are my friends and allies, uh, the Maryland Association of Counties, the Maryland Municipal League. I'm proud to support our local government leaders and I am grateful that they appreciate my leadership. I have been named a superstar by the Maryland Municipal League five times, including this year, and was the legislator of the year with Maryland Association of Counties. It's just, it's really an honor. I also think I saw the president's chief of staff, Jake Weissman, uh, join us. And Jake is behind the scenes and an invaluable leader and partner in so many ways. So one of the other leaders and partners that I get to work with a lot is the mayor of Gaithersburg. And just like his predecessor, now my council member, Sidney Katz, uh, Judd always introduces himself as the mayor of the best city in the universe, I think. I don't think he says country. I think he says in the universe. Uh, but in any case, my friend, the creative, fabulous founder of the Gaithersburg Book Festival, the mayor of Gaithersburg, Judd Ashman, followed by more music. I'm Judd Ashman, mayor of the greatest city in the world, Gaithersburg, Maryland. And if there's one person outside of our city council, our staff, and yours truly, who is always working for the betterment of Gaithersburg, it's our Senator Cheryl Kagan. There is no one more willing to go to bat for us and more faithfully represent our interests than our Senator Kagan. Along those lines, it's a well-known fact that the Maryland Municipal League named Cheryl a municipal superstar, a designation Cheryl wears proudly and deservedly so. I think it should be noted that she does occasionally refer to me as her favorite mayor, so by association, logic might suggest that I'm some kind of superstar too. Uh, we can leave that up for debate. Either way, given all of the above, it is entirely appropriate to speak on behalf of our city when I wish our, um, our good Senator and my good friend Cheryl the loveliest of birthdays and many happy returns. Hi Cheryl, RJ Cowdery here. I am sending you all the big virtual hugs I can send you right now and wishing you the best today and every day. Um, we met at NERFA a few years ago and gosh, we run into each other all over the place. 
Kerrville Folk Alliance and the great fortune of playing your series, Wonderful Hospitality, and can't wait to do it again. The song is called, What If This Is All There Is? Asking myself these questions Rolling round like a rock in my head Should I be worried about tomorrow While well, I'm stuck in this cloud instead I gotta figure out where I'm going Maybe I'm not going anywhere Or oh, these miles that I drive Lines that I ride Just a hopeless love affair what if this is all there is? What if this is all the love I'm ever gonna give? And the ladder that I'm on, I'm standing on the highest rung, I'm ever gonna stand. What if this is all there is? All the good I spill And I know this might sound crazy But for me it rings so true but One song at a time is doing me just fine and who knows I might pull us through Cause what if this is all there is What if this is all the love I'm ever gonna give And the ladder that I'm on We're standing on It's a family mystery It might take my whole life To get it just to right Before I finally believe That my world Fits perfectly What if this is all the love I'm ever gonna give? And the letter that I'm on, standing on the highest rung I'm ever gonna stand. What if this is all there is? What if this is all the love I'm ever gonna give? And the letter that I'm on, I'm standing on the highest rung I'm ever gonna stand. What if this is all there is? What if this is all there is? What if this is all there is? birthday, Cheryl. Hi, I'm Jim Fodeblo, and I'm wishing my friend Cheryl a very happy birthday. Cheryl is a very caring and compassionate person, which makes her an excellent public servant and a great friend. And that's what this song's about. Happy birthday, Cheryl. Cry to me, cry to me, 
My love is free. Tears of sorrow, tears of joy, cry to me. My love is willing, and my love is free. Tears of sorrow, tears of joy, cry to me. Tears of sorrow, tears of joy, cry to me. Well, hi there. My name is Reggie Harris, and I am so happy to be part of the Folk and Great family. I came as a member of one of the inaugural concerts a couple of years ago. And thank you, Cheryl, for all the work that you do, not only in presenting concerts, but also as state representative, one of those in our government who are really making a difference. So in this time of challenge, well, we all have to be ready to go. Certainly, Cheryl, you are. Ba 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 
Let's keep on keeping on. Thanks, Cheryl. Hey, this is Lisa McCormick, and I'm offering up this song in support of Cheryl Kagan. I've known Cheryl to be someone who has a strong vision, who creates community, and who makes things happen. In this day and age, that's exactly what we need in our leadership. This song is about the times that we are going through right now, or any time that we're going through times of uncertainty, and how we look for help and signposts and directions to bring us to a better place. I trust that Cheryl holds that same vision in her work as a senator. I'm Lisa McCormick here with Julian McBrown, and we are in Brattleboro, Vermont, and we're going to play a song for you that I wrote called Follow the Arrows. This time to listen, savor every blessing, make your hands creative, turn our hearts to giving, cause it's gonna make you late, it's gonna slow you down, it's gonna keep you at a distance from the heartbeat of your town, it's gonna shake up your day. All your big plans on hold, but just follow the arrows and they will lead you back home.
So I support Cheryl Kagan. I met her a little over two years ago and was immediately impressed by who she is as a person, by her energy, by her focus, by her determination, by her commitment. You know, I recognized right away that she's somebody called to do the work, will do the work. But the most important thing I recognized is how much she cares. Cheryl Kagan really cares. So she's a good bet. I've been looking around for some common sense. Out the open window and up under the bed. Can't seem to find it, don't know where it went. But I'm getting kind of nervous Cause there's not much left Where's this gonna lead us? Where's this gonna end? When logic's lost, it's never good My friends We need Common, common sense A little Common, common sense Come on people, use your hands Common, common, common sense So many brainwashed to a hard extreme They don't give a damn about the in-between Stuck in the corner of their own position It's the wrong party and the right religion well, Maybe we could all learn something if we kept an open mind Cause nothing gets accomplished When you only demonize Common, common sense Little common, common sense Come on, people, use your heads Some common, common sense What's wrong with a little bit of understanding? Find a way, make a sacrifice Give a little bit up is all I'm asking Some compromise We need compromise Talking to our leaders and to you and me Cause we all need to share responsibility It's all so fragile There's a lot at stake Yes there is And there's one last straw There's one last straw There's one last straw One last straw to cause it all to break Yeah I've been looking around for some common sense open window and up under the bed More great music, huh? We started off with the mayor of Gaithersburg. I was thinking about the electoral votes in this election year. R.J. Cowdery is from Ohio, Jim Photoglow from Tennessee, Reggie Harris, upstate New York, Lisa McCormick from Vermont, Bruce Sudano from California. If we add all the Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Texas, K 
Canada. All right, that's not Virginia. I mean, that's not counting for electoral votes. Illinois, Michigan. I think we've got enough electoral votes. If only they could sway the majority of the voters in their in their home states. In any case, I neglected to mention that Senator Craig Zucker uh, from District 14, uh, Montgomery County Senate Delegation Chair um, and Chair of the Democratic Caucus, uh, is or was with us. So thank you, Senator Zucker. Um, Mayor Jeffrey Slavin from the town of Somerset has joined us, a longtime friend and ally and supporter of mine, and State Representative Patrice Arendt from Utah, um, who's had a remarkable career out there and has just announced her retirement, and they are going to miss her, a Democrat in Utah, if you can imagine such a thing, and super effective out there. Just want to say a couple of things here. Um, First off, uh, Reggie Harris referenced the inaugural. For those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, on January, in Jetland, this past January, I hosted what I called the fourth and final inaugural. Uh, it was an idea that I came up with the day after Donald Trump won in 2016. And I said, what can I do? I'm only one person. I can't undo the, uh, the election results. I can't single-handedly defend the Supreme Court. Uh, but I came up with the idea of an inaugural concert, and I invited five performers raising money for five progressive causes. We sold out over 500 seats at Montgomery College uh, in Silver Spring that first year and raised over $50,000 for choice, greens, gays, guns, and civil rights. So it was the ACLU, Planned Parenthood the Brady Campaign to Prevent Gun Violence, the League of Conservation Voters, and the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force. It was extraordinary. Ended up being talked into doing it again. We did four of them, and then it was the fourth and final. So you have to make sure that you vote to make sure it's the final, because I'm done with that. Next year, we all need to be at an inaugural, not an inaugural. So uh, I don't want to feel like a talkathon here, uh, but I want to remind you, you can donate any amount at CherylKagan.org using a credit card, your PayPal, or sending a check. I am grateful to those of you who donated and supported um, support my work. It's not just about the campaign. There are a lot of other expenses related to community outreach. And so that's why I raise money kind of year round and uh, appreciate gifts of every size. The person who's going to kick off the next segment is Congressman David Trone. In addition to having the coolest district in the state, because I have uh, two of the largest jurisdictions, largest municipalities with Gaithersburg and Rockville, the current redistricting has the Gaithersburg district, Gaithersburg in the sixth district and Rockville in the eighth congressional district. And so I get to work with two talented, albeit very different members of Congress, but they're both super smart, hardworking and effective. David Trone is fairly new to the Congress. Um, he comes, uh, by way of, of business and comes with a business owner's sense of, of priorities and common sense, but he also has a progressive heart as a longtime community activist and philanthropist. He's been an ally and has collaborated with me on a number of issues, does regular check-ins to various communities around the county. I appreciate him. Watch for his name in the future as well as Jamie Raskins. Here comes David Trone kicking off more music. Enjoy. Uh, to my dear friend, Senator Cheryl Kagan, happy birthday. Montgomery County is lucky to have you as the voice in Annapolis. You and I share the same values. Chiefly, you always put your constituents first and you always take swift action and get results. After three people died in your district because the emergency rooms failed, you led the charge for Next Gen 9-11. As co-chair of the state's 9-11 commission, your legislation strengthened cybersecurity protection, increased oversight of the system, and provided much needed support to our 911 specialists. For your work, you received the Next Generation 911 Institute National Leader Award 2018 in the Maryland State Firemen Association, Senator William H. Amos Memorial Legislative Award in 2019 for their commitment to public safety. Senator Kagan, you've been a long-time ally of the nonprofit community. 
As we know, nonprofits employ 10% of Maryland's workforce. Thank you for sponsoring the Key Loan Fund that helps bridge the gap for nonprofits that have been awarded grants or contracts that have yet to receive their funding. And of course, in 2019, you were recognized by Maryland's nonprofits as a legislative champion for your work. Senator Kagan has been our most recently, recently been a leader in Annapolis on urgent issues that help Marylanders during COVID-19 crisis. Her telework on telehealth has been critically important to this pandemic, allowing patients to remain at home while still be able to access their doctors. This year, Maryland ran its first ever mail-in election. And thanks to Senator Kagan's efforts, all the ballots submitted had prepaid postage. In Annapolis, your continuing fights and focus and efforts on election reform, nonprofit advocacy, data privacy, and consumer protection are so important. Lastly, Senator Kagan has hosted the inaugural concert series since 2016, raising funds every year for important causes, hunger, housing, health care, domestic violence, and literacy. I found the best way to solve many problems that we face is when local, state, and federal governments work together to tackle the difficult issues. And in Senator Kagan, it's always been ready and willing to work together with our office to tackle these tough issues. I'm privileged to count you as not only your colleague, but friend as well. So happy birthday. And I look forward to many years of working together for the betterment of all Marylanders. Thank you, Cheryl. Hey, everybody. This is for my good friend, Cheryl Kagan, senator and wonderful person, helping to make the world a better place in so many ways that I can't even list here. And also avid supporter of folk music, which nowadays is really important. Um, we're so thrilled to be invited to participate in this. This is my song, Isle of Spirit, from an old, old album. Just something about how we need to stay connected to each other these days. So many things going on in the world. Thank you so much and happy birthday, Cheryl.
star that shines above So tell me how can we accept the possibility Hi friends, Tom Chapin. In this time of unknowns and living day to day, we are desperately in need of honest, energetic, dedicated, experienced public servants. And so I'm thrilled to be part of this Zoom birthday fundraiser for Cheryl Kagan. Please consider donating now to help Cheryl continue her wonderful work. I've donated this next song. My friend Sai Khan and I wrote this song for this moment, and I get to sing it with my beautiful daughters, Abigail and Lily Chapin, the Chapin sisters. Enjoy. When times grow dark and life grows mean, the hardest times we ever see.
Hi, my name is Cletus Kennelly, and as a resident of Montgomery County in the state of Maryland, I've long been grateful to Cheryl Kagan for her work in the, in the House and uh, now in the Senate, uh, introducing measures such as uh, making voting less difficult and uh, measures that protect the natural resources that we all share, with, uh, measures such as banning uh, styrofoam and about time too. And as an independent singer-songwriter, record producer, I have long been grateful to uh, Cheryl for her support of independent artists with her house concerts and other concerts that she has presented for many, many years. So, thank you, Senator Kagan. This is a song I wrote called The Edge of America. Looking for seashells by the tides of the beach And all your troubles seem to be out of reach When you're straddling the sea and the land Nothing much matters with your toes in the sand Oh, 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 oh mercy me A little bit inland and the scenery's changed American dreamers with their dreams out of range Where everything has turned the color of rust It's hand to mouth but you do what you must Oh, 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 oh mercy me Their eyes wide open when they walk down the street Cause seven and ten just might be packing heat We're all playing American roulette You play with fire and you get what you get Say me Everybody's on edge in America Everybody blinked and look what came through the door They don't even wear their hoods anymore now there's a feeling that the dreaming is over Are we looking at the end of America? We flood the streets, we carry the signs It's a drop in the ocean, yeah, but these are the times for patriots, rebels, and suffragettes Makes you think maybe we ain't beaten yet Oh, 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 oh mercy me We're hanging by a thread in America Oh, 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 oh it looks like we Together to rebuild America Thank you, Cheryl. This is Terry and Greg uh, visiting from our little house in the woods in upstate New York in the Northern Catskills. Wishing you a very, very happy birthday. And we also want to encourage all of those FOCs out there who are tuning in. Friends of Cheryl. Friends of Cheryl's to, uh, you know, contribute to the campaign and uh, to get out there and support Cheryl because we need her in the Maryland State Senate. Vote. We have the right. We need to use it. All right, then. Happy birthday. 
In one of Pete's songs, he said, I'm still searching for a way in which we can all share all the good and the bad, all the work, all the joy, all the sorrow. And no one will need to be a millionaire. We adapted that little phrase for the use in this song. And we felt that it was important to sing something about what we needed to build in this world, which was not a wall, but the world itself. We need to build the world that we want to see, that we want to live in. So please sing along with us and uh, hope you'll enjoy.
And that was Magpie. I suspect that some of you have been watching them for decades. They're a husband-wife team who've been performing for a very long time. Also in that section that uh, kicked off, but was kicked off by Congressman David Trone were Bernice Lewis, Tom Chapin and the Chapin sisters, Cletus Canale, and then Magpie. We are going to the very last segment I'm a night person, I'm a night owl, so like I'm good for hours more of this. And I know that people who go to NERFA and Folk Alliance are used to listening to music at all hours of the night, not just nine or 10 o'clock, but at one, two, three, four a.m. So this is nothing. Um, there's a lot to say as we start to wrap up. I wanted to thank you all for being here. I uh, wanna thank those who tweeted and posted and shared on social media and tagged me. Um, and I just want to say that this next section includes one song that's a PG rating. And so I just want to give a heads up if there are little kids here and you're a nervous parent about that. It does have a sexual theme. Um, it's a little subtle, but I just want to give you that. Um, so that was Cynthia Kaplan. You'll, you'll hear that song, which I love. Um, also in this, in this segment is a song that was also at the inaugural. Uh, by Chris Matthews, and she sings about change makers. And while I referenced and mentioned and honored my elected colleagues and friends, there are so many change makers out there. And that includes advocates, that includes allies, that includes staff, the reporters who do their work, and we need a free press, and we need to support them. Uh, not just the Baltimore Sun, the Washington Post, the Annapolis Capitol, and folks like that, um, but Maryland Matters, if you are not plugged into that and you live in Maryland, it's the best place to check out and know what's going on around the state. Uh, so change makers are so many people and on this Zoom tonight have been lobbyists, leaders, community activists, PTA people, education folks, environmental leaders, and uh, child care advocates and many, many more. So thanks to you for joining us for what you do and for your support. Not too late to go to CherylKagan.org, donate any amount if you're inclined to do so. And with that, we're going to kick off and we're going straight into a song that just is one of another one of my anthems. And John Flynn is another one of those performers that just so inspires me. And I asked for this song. So enjoy that. Some of these uh, songs are so meaningful. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. Enjoy the next segment. Hi, this is John Flynn saying happy birthday to my good friend, Senator Cheryl Kagan. Cheryl, it was easy to pick a song uh, for you because you always liked uh, this particular song a lot. And, and that always made sense to me because you always seem to embody the spirit of the lyric in that you single-handedly make such a big difference in so many lives. One night in restless sleep I dreamt a young man came to me and asked what I had done that day to end the misery. I said, what difference would it make? What good could I have done? There are too many people. He said, no, there's only one. One hungry child, the one you did not feed. One lonely soul, the one you did not need. One dying heart heart that would not bleed for all the things the day has left undone you can change the world with only one now 
lately I've begun to fear the turning of the earth with every lap around the solar system since my birth I see my chances to change my life go from slim to none how many days are left I asked he said you need just one one single day live with all your heart one single step is enough to start wonderful things stuff that's off the chart can happen on the journey once begun You can change the world with only one. He said, Love me, mesmerize you like a gold watch on a chain. You're more than the boundaries you embrace. Reason thin as angel skin will fly to some high shelf. One light that searches. Through the endless darkness finds itself One hungry child won't be denied bread One lonely soul won't be neglected One by one dying hearts will heal When they've bled for all the things we have left undone We each can change the world with only one My friends, we each can change this world Like Cheryl does Happy birthday
we ever made was you. You can choose. You can choose. Hi, Cheryl, Cynthia Kaplan here, coming to you from my recording studio slash uh, closet. And I want to wish you a very happy birthday. And I want to thank you for everything you've done for your state and for our country and for the world. And I want to sing you a song. This is one of your favorites. It goes out to all the women. I think we can, we can all agree that our reproductive health care is best overseen by white men in their 70s and 80s. With that, I give you a letter from Dr. Randall Burkhauser. January 15th, 2018. Miss Cynthia Kaplan, Care of Rodale Publications. Dear, 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 dear Cynthia, after reading your well-written piece in Organic Style magazine, I felt compelled to write. I am a 69-year-old physician and divorcee with a great sex life. It is obvious that you and your husband have less than good sex. Maybe you're no baby that your husband has to suffer from blue balls or jerk himself off as a crying shame. Baby, you're no baby. I was in the same boat with my first wife, Caroline, a good woman, a good woman, a good woman, but a lousy wife. But it wasn't my fault. I think the problem stemmed from Caroline's mother, who was in retentive, super clean, and thought that oral sex was dirty. I can't begin to tell you how much sexual joy I have with my new lady friend, maybe you're no baby. Your article may give others the impression your approach to sex is natural. Baby, you're no baby. You are in the same boat with my first wife, Caroline. A good woman, a good woman, a good woman, but a lousy wife. Avenue, San Jose, California. 
95120. Happy birthday, Cheryl. Hi, folks. I'm Spook Handy. I don't need to tell you how important it is that we all get out and vote in this year's upcoming elections. We need government that works, and we need people in government who appreciate the people that they represent. And that's why I'm urging you to re-elect to the Maryland State Senate, Cheryl Kagan. Cheryl has an excellent record on the environment. She's nationally recognized for her work upgrading and modernizing the 911 emergency system. And if you know Cheryl at all, you're not surprised that she, she is forging excellent relationship between the government, which is the public sector, and nonprofit organizations that are doing other work so that all together, good stuff is getting done. So please go out, please vote, and I urge you to vote for Cheryl Kagan. Bring her back to the Senate in the state of Maryland. Now, since I know that you folks are gonna vote, I have a little gift for you, a token of my appreciation. It's a song I wrote, and it's called Vote. When politicians come to town and kiss babies till their noses turn brown, you can bet your bottom dollar they want your vote. So speak your mind, cause believe it or not, this world has become a big melting pot. It's easy to get yourself lost in the lot, cause the world's made up of all kinds of people, so vote. Don't you never mind the weather, get your butt in the booth and pull down the lever. Vote. For worse or for better, let your voice be heard. We got fuzzy-headed, peace-loving, carrot-chomping farmer boys, skin-headed, neo-Nazi, face-slapping paranoids, fat cats sitting back, scoffing at the tabloids, yep. And there's cross-burning, homophobic, church-going family types, flag-burning, anti-war, give the poor more types, out of school, know-it-all, cliff Clavin prototypes, the world's made up of all kinds of people, so vote. Don't you ever mind the weather, get your butt in the booth and pull down the lever, vote. For worse or for better, let your voice be heard. We got men hating, aggravating, right wing feminists, pro life clinic burning, gospel preaching terrorists, city dwelling, unemployed folks who can't stand it no more. Sky choking, river killing, free market advocates, tree loving, owl hugging, pro environmentalists, urban folk high on dope, raising up their clenched fists. The world's made up of all kinds of people, so vote. Don't you never mind the weather, get your butt in the booth and pull down the lever and vote. For worse off or better, let your voice be heard. Farmer Josh lives up on the mountain, grows his own food, drinks from Mother Nature's fountain, and only gets down into town around once a week. And all the pretty young gals from the nearby high school stop by his farm cause they think he's so cool, chewing on wheatgrass, spitting out philosophy. He says, looking at life cosmologically, we're all cells in the body of the Almighty, and with God-like nature, we create our own reality. Down here on Earth, now that's a different ball of wax. We gotta eat and pay all kinds of taxes and form governments that have laws to pass. Cause the world's made up of all kinds of people, so vote. Don't you never mind the weather, get your butt in the booth and pull down the lever. Vote. For worse or for better, vote. Come on, everybody, vote! Don't you never mind the weather, get your butt in the booth and pull down the lever. Vote. Worse off or better, let your voice be heard. I'll be looking for you on election day, and I'll be at the Cheryl Kagan celebration victory party. Hope to see you there. Bye. I want to open and close with a little bit of Dr. King. 
This is from his book, Why We Can't Wait. Let us all hope that the dark clouds of racial prejudice will soon pass away and the deep fog of misunderstanding will be lifted from our fear-drenched communities. And in some not too distant tomorrow, the radiant stars of love and brotherhood will shine over our great nation with all their scintillating beauty. This first song is called Change Makers. We've got a few of those in the room tonight. Sitting alone in this hotel room, TV on, tuned into the news. And it's another day here in paradise. Mass shootings, deportations, wildfires. Meanwhile, Mr. Make America Great is busy tweeting his worst and spreading more hate. While some of us are so poor they can't afford shoes on their feet. While some other sweet baby starves to death in their sleep. Can you see us, we are dreamers? Can you feel us, we are believers? We are more than keyboard warriors. We are the change makers. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Somewhere in a hundred no-name towns, are a million lives being turned upside down And you know this is the only home those kids have ever known Refugees from wars and regimes being overthrown Meanwhile, too many of these United States Ignore the words Lady Liberty Spain Doors being kicked down in the dead of the night No more sanctuary cities, how's that for religious? See us, we are dreamers. Can you feel us? We are believers. We are more than keyboard warriors. We are the change makers. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh. And if there's anyone out there who questions what America at its very best will feel like now. Remember 66 million united in love, steadfastly indivisible across countless cities and towns. Oh, the bluest wave crashing from shore to shore. And all those hate has no home here. Signs on all those doors. We know who we are like we know how to breathe. Won't you sing it with me? Sing it with me, please. Give me your tired, your poor. Your huddle masses yearning to breathe free. Give me the wretched refuse from your teeming shores. Send these the homeless, the tempest tossed to me. Give me your tired, your poor. Your huddle masses yearning to breathe free. Give me the wretched refuse from your teeming shores. Send the homeless, the tempest tossed to me. Oh, can you see us? We are dreamers. Can you feel us? We are believers. And we are more than keyboard warriors. We are the change makers. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. A song for Senator Cheryl Kagan, the hardest working senator I know. Senator Kagan, thank you for all your hard work. You are no stranger to it. My name is Glenn Rothell, and I'm happy to play this song for you, just for you. Dear young man looking at a silo, I want 
Chase the dream we always had as children, John. Take a good look at your two hands. They will serve you best when they're serving someone else. Take one small. To that long road ahead There are wonders, gifts and friends We should enjoy before it ends Two young men looking forward again Says, do you remember when? And aren't you glad that we did that then? Now we've retired, and there's so much that we can do. My friend, this is a story. Oh, this is a story. This is a story of two. Should 
joy before it ends Two young men looking for a word again Happy birthday, Senator Kagan. Hello. And with that, we wrap up an unbelievable evening of music, friendship, politics, community, and the cat woke up. <laughs> he was doing so great napping on my lap. But if you hear Muzi saying good night, uh, he has enjoyed the evening too, but differently than you have. I hope that you have been inspired and entertained and maybe amused by these phenomenal singer-songwriters. I do hope that you'll follow up and learn more about them, support them, support their music. I want to give a shout out again to the extraordinary Mark Burnback who produced this. Thank you to Chris Schneider, to Tom Prasada Rao, to Rob Hinkle, to the, to my friends, to my loving, wonderful friends who are singer songwriters and who create this beauty and this joy in my life and now this evening in your lives. Uh, as Spoo Candy said in his song, vote, don't mind the weather, get your butt in the booth and pull down the lever. And maybe there aren't booths anymore and maybe there aren't levers anymore but this is a historic election year and we all need to vote, to volunteer, to donate, to use our social media for good. And, uh, and we've got to make change in Washington and in the Congress, uh, obviously, and in every state legislature. Um, I wanna thank you for watching. I wanna thank you for your support. You can still go to CherylKagan.org to donate any amount to support my campaign and my community work. I am grateful for the friends, constituents, allies, family members, uh, longtime associates who joined us this evening and my wonderful colleagues who are elected officials who know how hard it is to raise money and to serve, especially during this pandemic. So now that we're wrapping up, I finally get to eat my dinner. I, can get, I have delicious birthday dinner, uh, Greek food from La Trapezaria in downtown Rockville, one of my very favorite places. Uh, I hope you all are buying local, eating local, and supporting our local jobs so that we can all help the economy to be reborn after this pandemic. Uh, thank you all uh, for your support. And, um, and I'm going to thank Muzi, my adorable coronavirus kitty, uh, for hanging in there with me this evening. And I look forward to seeing all of you. Be safe, be well, wear a mask. Good night.